On November the 10th of 1994, a Claremont County resident recorded several minutes of home video footage showing an object comprised of four headlights in a triangular arrangement. A soundless object seems to demonstrate a rolling motion that would appear to place a conventional aircraft in an upside down inverted pitch at the conclusion of the maneuver. The videotape and the claim was thoroughly investigated and others in the same area also told of similar occurrences in the weeks before and after the recording was made. The mysterious object was picked up on the home video camera after witnesses described hearing explosive sounds. I was in bed sound asleep and all of a sudden I heard some boom, booming sounds. And I got up and I came out and asked my son what all the noise was. He said, Mom, I don't know. So I opened up the door to look outside and there were so many intense lights that it was, it was something. So I started yelling, oh my God, where's my camera? I videotaped the lights going across and over top of the field across the street. They were just on the other side of the dumpster here. Uh, they were very low. Some of them were coming in one direction and would stop and go back in the opposite direction. Some of them would stop in midair and there would be like two of them at a time over top of each other and they would both separate and go in opposite directions. This is the video Barb recorded on November the 10th, 1994. Barb also recorded videotape of an actual airplane traveling overhead. Comparing this video with the one of the object that Barb says is weird gives us the impression that the aircraft engine noise from the plane can be heard very clearly and the unidentified object seems to make no sound at all. Ooh, boy, you November 10th was a strange night in Owensville. Along with Barb and her videotape, there were quite a few others who told of eerie glowing lights that zipped about on that rainy night. Some did not want to appear on camera. One resident, Larry Moore, says he does not know Barb and has no knowledge of her videotape, but he saw something that he could not identify. Okay, what I seen was a light coming through the trees, and it was coming at a pretty rapid speed, between 50 and 60 miles an hour. And uh, the light was unusual to be as low as it was. <laughs> it was kind of eerie looking, you know, just, just see it just like that. But you know it wasn't a plane that low or something that low like that is something I've never seen before. But it, when, when it came so fast like that, it just suddenly stopped. And it was about like 30 foot up above the trees. And it was just a big bright light, like it had some kind of a glow to it. But I couldn't figure out what it was. <laughs> As I was standing there watching the lights, all of a sudden I noticed that there was a sheriff right there in the front of my house. Oh boy, he's, he's speeding up now, did you see? He saw it right here. <laughs> Listen to him. <laughs> I bet somebody called. There was a very intense light on the other, behind the dumpster. The sheriff must have noticed it because at that time he sped up very noticeably in his car. I followed him as far as I could with the video camera over to the church where he sat and watched the lights also. There goes the sheriff after sitting here for a few minutes. And he 
here he's facing one. How about that? Got sheriffs sitting right under one. And they sit there. They're having like a stare down face off for a couple minutes. And the light is just sitting motionlessly in the up in the sky. There's no sound. Then all of a sudden the light pulls to the right. The sheriff's tail lights change again. And he pulls up and pulls to the right as if he's following it. What happened that night? An attempt was made to locate the officer who was on the video. Uh, sheriff's going to follow him. Yep. Ooh, there he goes, chasing him. But our efforts were futile. We spoke with Lieutenant Wilson of the Claremont County Sheriff's Department, who said he checked into it, and he told us that he had no information and no reports were made. Lights in the night sky don't impress me, he said, and that our job is protecting people. As long as one of these bad boys don't hurt anyone, it's not our concern. When asked to make an on-camera comment about the videotape, Claremont County Sheriff John Van Camp abruptly stepped in and curtly said, go find someplace else to film.